Warning. Censorship. Warning. Censorship. Why did you come to the Wizard Stop? Just for support. Do you know that RCMP has threatened him with fines, but also his customers with fines? I'm not aware, but basically at the end of the day, it's just support for small business. It's just ridiculous. People need to wake up. The government government needs to grab a brain and, uh, you know, start being decent and respect people's rights and do what is right. They could get in trouble for being open and you could get in trouble for being here. Is that worth <laughs> Bring it. Sheila Gunn Reed for Rebel News here nearly two hours southeast of Edmonton in the tiny town of Mirror, Alberta. Population 500 people. And this tiny hamlet in this little gas station and the attached cafe behind me. Well, they've been the site of a rebellion against the Alberta government's COVID shutdowns of restaurants to dine in service. It is Monday and I've been here constantly since Saturday. Since the owner of this little establishment, Chris Scott, decided late last week he had nothing left to lose. And so he reopened his little diner to the public again. The reaction was swift from everyone. The community came out to support Chris and pack his place all weekend. In fact, people have come from all across the province to cheer for him and support his staff in their act of civil disobedience and survival. And the authorities, they moved quickly also. They rushed to stop Chris. Alberta Health Services on Friday issued an immediate closure order. They've also threatened to pull Chris's health permits in the future if his business even survives the pandemic. And they threatened to yank his liquor license. Police have been here at least five times over the weekend, including three times on Saturday to remind Chris that he is in contravention of the lockdown and to take pictures of the license plates of the customers dining inside. Cops have said that they will give Chris escalating lockdown fines, that they would also fine his customers individually and even charge those who refuse to leave with obstruction of justice. The full force of the government is being brought to bear on this little place in the middle of Alberta because the owner has nothing left to lose. You can see my full coverage from Saturday, including interviews with staff and customers and Chris at rebelnews.com. It's Monday, a government work day, which means the government inspectors will probably be back. The cops will be back too, likely maybe even with fines. You know how the pandemic is just so deadly and what Chris is doing is just so dangerous that the government has to wait until their bankers hours, weekday, work day to deal with it. But I'm here too to make sure that the COVID cops and bureaucrats can't try to destroy Chris's business in anonymity. I'll be here if they come to capture it all. Chris has let me turn a little corner table into an office so I can work while we wait and see what happens next. It's early, so let's go get some diner coffee, some breakfast, and see where this day takes us. Hi. Morning. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Good. All right. So I'll get your meal here. Um, like I said, just pop it in there. And... Right. Yeah. Except because I'm not going to hide over here. You know, we're around. You know, we're monitoring the situation. Yeah, I'm not going to hide anything either. Yep. Good. Appreciate it. I make sure I try and post every day so HS yep. knows exactly what I'm doing. Yep. Oh, that's good. Make everyone's job easier. Yep. Why'd you come down to the whistle stop today? You realize you're risking a $1,200 fine by being here? Yeah, I guess so. But we're done now. So we... <laughs> you're getting away. It's just nice to sit and eat food and look at people without masks on. And just normal people. And if you notice in there, everybody's happy. Everybody's smiling. People, they're not malicious. They're not angry. They're happy. This is this is what we want. We want our lives back, and we all we're all like-minded people. Or they wouldn't be here, and I wouldn't be here. And we just want to get on with life. You walked in the door, and instead of being disappointed or frustrated, you were excited when you saw a big lineup to get into the restaurant. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's good to see. Because I mean, we are, you know, all uh, businesses are essential. Um, you know, like like I was like really happy to see this. And I came all the way from Parkland Village, you know, because I figured, you know what, like, uh, I don't know if anywhere else really, like around my area that would, you know, like a business like this, that would open their doors and 
I salute any business that actually opens their doors and uh, stands up for what is right. Hey, can I ask you, why'd you come down to the whistle stop today? Well, just to support the people here. Keep them going. This is what it's all about. Do you know that you're risking a $1,200 fine just to be here? I know that. Yep. Thank you. Do you care? No. If you do get a fine, you're going to have to drive out. Yeah, well, I guess that or go to jail. <laughs> Why'd you come to the list? Well, I'm a business owner myself, and I like to support other small businesses like myself. And these guys are doing a great job. Yeah. Do you have a message for the government? Because... I mean, they've really come down hard on him. They're threatening him with a lot of things. Yeah, open up, open up, and if just give us some hard data. Uh, why are we being the ones to scapegoats? Give us hard data, and then we'll follow the restriction. If this is the case, though. How was your meal? The meal was awesome. Finally, we can sit down. <laughs> why did you come to the whistle stop today? Ask the young guy. These young guys need to talk more. Yeah, in my opinion, businesses need to be open and people need to support their families, right? So the least we can do is to quit talking about it and actually do something to show real support for these people that have the courage to actually stay open. Now, the RCMP have threatened Chris with fines, Chris the owner, but also his staff who are volunteering their time and even the customers. Does that spook you or intimidate you at all? Not really. I think the goal is to be peaceful and cooperative, right? Mm -hmm. If law enforcement gets involved, we just follow what they say. Um, but there's no law that says we can't be here peacefully exercising our rights. So that's why I'm here. I guess in Alberta, uh, having a burger is an act of civil disobedience these days. <laughs> right? Isn't that weird? I never would have guessed that a year ago. If you had said we'd have to go protest a uh, government shutdown, stopping us from eating in person together I would have never believed it but here we are today right so well we just wanted to leave the rat race of red deer and get out and get some fresh air and have a bite to eat in a normal place sitting down with no mask on your face <laughs> well to be honest I didn't even know about this and which surprised me because I'm on Facebook like night and day but my friend here told me about this place as we were coming out here and so when we showed up I saw CTV was here and it seemed a little strange to me, but then I realized what was going on. So I'm like, well, I'm glad we came because at least we get to support local, right? And uh, hats off to, I, I think, you know, all of Canada should do this because this is this has gone on long enough. Why did you guys come to the whistle stop? And you're waiting for a while to get in. We've been waiting for quite a while, but uh, we heard about it and we were down here looking at a horse today. So we uh, thought we'd stop in. Hungry. Yeah, we just want to support the locals and we're happy that they're doing this. So, Hi guys. Hi. Why did you guys come to the Whistle Stop? You guys are waiting to get into this little tiny restaurant and it's cold out. Why? We just want to support the locals. We're tired of being controlled. <laughs> Here to support the locals. Same thing, just supporting locals. <laughs> they could get in trouble for being open and you could get in trouble for being here. Is that worth? <laughs> Bring it. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Uh, for us, it's just support of, again, the locals. And I think the biggest thing is that we all have a choice in life. And this is probably my choice. Nobody else tells me how to make that choice. So here we are supporting others making their choices. Well, enjoy your very dangerous burger when you get in there. <laughs> um, to support local and to support our freedom. Yeah, enough already. Yeah. You have a message for the government? It sounds like they're going to come down on him pretty hard. Yeah, they need to back off and support the people. What about you? Why'd you come? Um... I'm out of Red Deer as well, and I just follow this restaurant on Facebook. And uh, when it, when I seen that they decided to open up, I just thought, you know, it's time that we got to stand up for what's right. Um, if we don't fight for what we've got, we can't complain about what we lose. So I just came out here. This is the first time I've ever been here, but I just came out to have lunch and support them. Now, what do you think about the RCMP threatening him with fines and even his customers with fines? Well, I think the RCMP should be doing what their oath calls for, and that's to uh, 
uh, uphold the constitution, not not follow the orders of a socialist kind of guy like the liberals are. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to support like a local business that's trying to uh, survive and trying to be a leader for other businesses to be open and keep our economy going and just be supportive of it. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you guys are risking a, a fine by being here. Uh, are you scared? Not worried at all. No, no. Came to support them. I think it's great that they're open. We should all be open. Yeah, just we come to support them and make their our voices heard. And hopefully someday we'll be able to eat back in the restaurants again and have our businesses open to survive. Jason Kenny, were watching this. What would you tell them? I can't say it on TV. I can't say what I would like to say to Jason Kenny. Okay, it's time to shut down the big box stores. Open us up. Why'd you come to the Wisdom Stop? Just for support. Do you know that RCMP has threatened him with fines, but also his customers with fines? I'm not aware, but basically at the end of the day, it's just support for small business. It's just ridiculous. People need to wake up. The government government needs to grab a brain and, uh, you know, start being decent and respect people's rights and do what is right. Well, people have a right to make a living. This is, this is, I don't know, it's beyond words what they're doing. So we got to support people like this. And we need more businesses to do this because they can't prosecute or persecute 5,000 businesses. If there more would just shut down, or open up, I should say, that would be great. What did you just uh, drop off in, uh, to Chris here? So we, uh, we have a farm to plate beef sales from our farm by Stetler. And we saw that Chris was, uh, you know, struggling a bit to have inventory and, and to get started back up after being shut down for so long. So we brought some beef for him to, to build his inventory back up so he can get some hamburgers out and some other meals out for people. So we brought some uh, ground beef and some roasts and hopefully that helps him get his, get his business going again. Do you have a message for the government who has locked down small businesses like Chris's? And I suppose that hurts your business too because yeah. you are suppliers to businesses like Chris's. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I was pretty pretty disappointed in Jason Kenny back in the spring when he made uh, you know some businesses deemed essential and some not I gave him a second chance in November when he came out and said that was the wrong thing to do and uh, you know a week later he, he did it again he said there's some businesses are essential and some that aren't and that's just not the way it works every business is essential so you know we need to stick together and, and show that we're not gonna stand for you know government shutting down businesses arbitrarily well, friends, what a day on the illegal burger news beat here at the Whistle Stop Diner in Mirror, Alberta. Chris Scott, his staff, and his many, many, many customers made it through the first full government work day since he decided to reopen his restaurant in defiance of the lockdown with just one visit from the cops at 10.30 this morning, no fines, no tickets, and no health inspectors here to revoke his health permit. So, I guess, all things considered, a success all around. Now, I've been here since 9.30 this morning. So since the tail end of breakfast, all of the lunch rush when it was so busy, I had to take my little makeshift office into the gas station so that customers could have my table. And then I had dinner with friends here before just now I'm headed home. I'll be checking in on Chris and working from the Whistle Stop Cafe off and on until this lockdown is lifted. And if anyone here gets a COVID ticket, staff, customers, or Chris, Rebel News is going to help at fightthefines.com. For Rebel News, at the Whistle Stop Diner, enjoying great food with even better people in Mirror, Alberta, eating and fighting for freedom. I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. If you're a small business owner and you plan to reopen your doors to your customers, despite the threat of government fines due to this government pandemic lockdown, reach out to us at IWillOpen.com and we'll tell your story.